So if you want to add in some comments uh, or notes in your PDF document, you can easily do that by using the sticky notes, comments, and other markup options that the, uh, the uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro DC gives you. So in order to do that, I'm going to expand the panel on the right right here. And over here, you can see that there's an option for comments. So let me just click on this and over here, now you can see the options for comments. This is also already active. The two comment and highlighter option is already active. But once you click on that, you get more options right here. So let me click on comment right here. And now what I can do with this is click anywhere. And over here, the comment pops up. So I'm going to say test comment in sticky note, just like this and press post. There you go. That has been saved. I can close this out. And if anyone else double clicks it, then this actually pops up. Another thing you have is the highlighter. So you can highlight any part of the text. You can even change this color. You can right click on this. You can go to properties right here. You can change the color of the highlight as well. And there you go. You can change the author and highlight. Press OK. Click and drag. Now the highlight you can change the color as well. What you can also do is you can uh, actually attach a comment to this. So you can go over here just like this. Click this. And this is the comment that actually came up. So I can type in anything here. I can attach a comment to it. So if anyone clicks on this, you see the respective comment right here. Now the thing you have is underline. So you click and drag. There you go. That's the underline. You can right click. You can go, go to its properties as well. Change the color and even change the style of the underline right here. Just like this. There's the cross out. Works in a similar fashion. Right click. Go for properties. You can also add in a comment right there. And there are other things that, like this cross out comment right here. We can drag and there you go. There's the cross out comment. This is useless, for example. Right? Anyways, you get the idea. Press post. There you go. That has been attached. Besides this, you have this one the option right here. Insert text from cursor. So you can go over here. And there you go. That's the text. Insert text from cursor. Go here. Let's say over here, let me click this. Insert more words here, for example, post it up. Besides this, you got a regular text as well. So you can have a regular comment and you can change the color of this uh, comment and everything from right here. Let's say, for example, regular comment, just like this. There's also text boxes, so you can have a text box just like this and type in a comment onto this. There's also other options such as this draw free from. So you can go over here and highlight anything right here. Just like that. You can also change the size, the thickness, and then draw accordingly, just like that. There's also erase drawing, so you can erase this out just like that. And there's the stamp tool as well. So you want to approve anything complete, you can approve it just like that and stamp it out over here. You can also go over here. There are other uh, stamp options like dynamic, the sign here, check and everything else, which you can actually do. You can also create custom stamps right here and browse for images uh, in supported format. For example, you want to uh, import anything in JPZ right here. I'm going to go over here onto my TutuTube drive and I'm going to use this TutuTube uh, picture itself. And there you go. There's my stamp. Let's press, press OK. Select the image for custom stamp right here. New category. This is going to be standard business. Press OK. And I'll have my stamp over here. So standard business over here. That's my tube stamp complete. And I can actually go over here. And there's my stamp as you can see. Click anywhere and it gets posted just like this. Let me press Control Z for that. And then over here, after the stamps, there's also attachments. So you want to attach any file over here. So you can attach a file, click here, and you can attach an image to this. For example, you can go over here. I'm going to attach a file to this, an image or anything. You can just go over here. And there's the attachment paper that actually shows up. So you go over here. This is an attachment. So if anyone clicks here, this is a JPEG image. So I can double click this and I can open this file. So you can actually attach something like a video, audio, or anything over here. Talking about audio, you also can record the audio directly. So you can click over here. And here you can record the audio just like this. You can record the audio, press OK, and the audio gets attached. 
you can choose uh, the icon of it and when user clicks here the audio plays out besides this you also have the shape tool like arrows over here so there's the arrows there's the text call out right here you can add in some comment over here uh, and many other options like connected lines so you can actually click it connect lines and there you go so many options for you to actually work around with text go here rectangular there you go go here and whenever you choose any option you get option to actually change the line thickness right here also uh, you can change the color or the fill color of this so whenever you actually drag it in you actually have the same so that is how you can add in sticky notes comments and other markups inside of your pdf document to add in comments uh, for future reference or to send the document to someone else so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe